Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. I just want to do a quick video and talk about the difference between being faithful and loyal. You know, you could be faithful to a relationship, but you're not loyal. You can be faithful to, in a friendship. You can be faithful in a marriage, but you're not loyal. How does that make sense? Let me give you an example. For example, you could be faithful to going to work every day, but not loyal in your work ethics, okay? So that means every day you're going to go to work, even if you don't really want to go, but you faithfully go because you need to get paid. There are benefits to you going. But when you're at work, you may not do everything you're supposed to do. You may not, your integrity in how you're handling business and what you're doing with your time there, you're not loyal to it. Does that make sense? So you may appear to be working, but you're taking time to do what you want to do. You may take uh, lunches a little later, slack off, don't get the project done, procrastinate on things that you're supposed to do, but you're still faithfully going every day because it's to your benefit. And so there are people who are married to someone. They may have a boyfriend and girlfriend. They may be in close proximity to some people in friendships, be a best friend, but they're not loyal how's that they don't protect you they don't cover your nakedness you know the bible talks about covering someone's nakedness that means when things are going on with you they're okay either a sitting with people who are talking about you disparaging you may even talk about you as well they will expose your flaws laugh at your downfall share your downfall with others, use your uh, weaknesses and expose it to other people. There are people who, there are men and women who are married and they're faithful in their marriage in the sense of, I'm married, they're still married, they haven't divorced the person, but they're not loyal because they will take the nakedness of their husband or their wife to someone else whether it's exposing things to friends, family, a good friend, or a friend of the opposite sex. Tell them what they're not doing in the house. Tell them what they wish they would do in bed or what they don't do in bed or how they're failing here and what kind of parent they are and what they're not, what they wish and what they wish wasn't. No loyalty, no sense of protecting this person no sense of thinking would I want someone to discuss me loyalty is doing what's right even when the person's not there it's having a conscience it's standing and having an allegiance to someone that a person not anyone could come up to you and feel comfortable talking to you about this person and there'll be something in you where before you open your mouth and just begin to, to share the deep secrets or to try to shame the person or but instead of wanting to side with people against someone that you know and you have not had a conversation with them to know their side, you your loyalty of such, you're not going to sit there and just let someone talk and say things to you. More than likely, you're going to stop them in their tracks. More than likely you will say something to make them think twice about what they're saying to you. And even if you find yourself inevitably listening to something, you're not gonna divulge anything to add more fuel to the fire. And you're gonna go to this person, maybe talk to them and say, hey, I don't know if you realize this, but this is being said about you or this person saying this or that. And a nine times out of 10, when you're loyal, you're really, really loyal to someone, people are not going to be able to get too far with telling you a whole bunch of stuff about that person. No person should be able to sit there and talk about your wife or your husband or your significant other or your very good friend, have a long extended conversation telling you all this stuff and you have not stopped the conversation yet. So... Sometimes people, I don't buy anybody will say, well, I didn't say anything because you know, you know what? You didn't say anything because you wanted to hear what they had to say. You have to do a deep search. 
why how does people feel comfortable going and talking to you about someone or how do you feel comfortable if someone says something negative and then you add to it well you know i was thinking that the other day he did this she did this they did this because there's something in you you're already disgruntled with that person and now you have someone that you can you can exchange frustrations you can extra- exchange um your dissatisfaction with one another and feel justified in your behaviors or in your thoughts but loyalty is where you can go to that person and say go to your friend go to your spouse and talk to them first before you go to anybody else so there's a lot of people faithful in friendships faithful in marriages in in the sense of they're there they're still married for 25 30 years they've had no loyalty none whatsoever been friends since elementary school but there's no loyalty they won't think twice to stab you in the back they don't think twice about what's being said how someone is coming to them and speaking about someone else they can't see how this would affect that other person if anything it is an opportunity for them to spill and to unload and to unleash what's already in their heart loyal friends a friend that's loyal is not going to go and allow anyone to come to them and say mean and terrible things about you a loyal husband or wife would not allow anyone else to do that they're not going to expose their husband or their wife I understand that there are situations where you may need help. I understand there may be situations in cases where you're in an abusive, dangerous situation. Yes, you may have to go and talk to somebody and say, this is what's going on. This is what I'm facing. But there's a difference between just saying, oh, this person leaves the toilet seat up or this person smells bad or... You know, she didn't know how to, she, she just, she didn't know how to read for all these years until this, or, you know, this is her family background. This is what I know about him. This is what I know about them. No, the minute someone can laugh with you while laughing at your spouse, your boyfriend, a girlfriend, your significant other, your friend. You hear that? The minute someone could laugh with you and laughing because you're both laughing at this person that you're supposedly in a friendship relationship with, you're not a loyal friend. The minute anyone can sit and laugh together at your expense, Don't be confused because they're still with you in a relationship. They're with you, but they're not loyal to you. And a lot of times they're with you when when them being present and appearing to be faithful and there's no loyalty. A lot of times they're with you because there's some benefits to being with you. Whether it's nobody, the person they really wanted to be with, dumped them and left them. The person that they want to be with is not quite ready to take that make that move just yet or it is you know marriage is convenient this friendship is convenient just as i said going to work you need it right you need money but you go to work and and just screw up all day or screw off all day don't do anything look like you're working but not really working so it's the same thing when loyalty and faithfulness They're present, but yet they're doing little things behind your back. They're exposing you. They laugh. They sabotage you. They side with people who are trying to, they side with people who are against you. They can always somehow ironically take the side of people who are are hurting you. And they can always find the silver lining with your enemies. They're not loyal. I want to make a disclaimer. I'm not saying that your friend, a friend should always tell you if you're doing something wrong. You shouldn't be where, it shouldn't be a situation where 
you're doing something wrong, unethical, immoral. And if your friend comes up to you and say, look, that's not right. That's not them not being loyal. Okay? Because they have to be character as well. It's just that the friend is telling you the truth. So you don't do things that's wrong to others and things that can mess up not only your reputation but theirs so that's not being disloyal that's a person of character i'm just simply talking about individuals who individuals where no one should be able to come up and discuss you with them and it's okay and tell them all kinds of things about you and they sit there and they listen. And they side with people who hurt you. They're siding with people who betray you. They're like close buddies with the people who have broken your heart. It's just still so important for them to maintain contact with these individuals. Okay? And that could be friend. It could be family. It could be relatives. There are people who can definitely be faithful but not loyal. And loyalty is very important. And you're going to know. You're just going to know. Scenarios are going to come up where you're just going to see. You're going to know what they're about. Siding with your enemies. Laughing at you with people who are against you. Finding humor in your hurt. Exposing your weaknesses to others. Being friends and being friends with people who hurt you remaining and keeping contact and coming to you and telling you all the time what they said about you or bringing things up that's going to hurt you okay so let's say you broke up with a person they'll let you know they saw them and they talked and oh yeah saw them they looked nice oh yeah they would you know i saw them with this person or that person or they said this they told me this they know this is an area of contention right but they're gonna do it anyway oh they invited me over i went over <laughs> okay and there's a thin line with that one but guys the bottom line is if someone is hurting you and have done you wrong a person who is loyal will think, what if it were me? They're always going to be able to put things... They, they're going to treat you the way they want to be treated. That's my opinion. And they have the ability to put themselves in your shoes. They have the ability to have empathy. They have the ability to see the situation very clearly for what it is. They have sensitivity to know not to bring up certain things. That's too hurtful for you. They're just not going to keep bringing things up and saying things that's going to hurt you. They're not going to tell you that they saw your ex with someone else. They're not going to tell you, oh, they called me and talked to me. We went out to eat. They're not going to be inviting them over. They're not going to always be trying to get you to think of people who have hurt you and people who have done you wrong. And they are somehow, they have had a discussion with them. And then telling you, well, why are you acting like this? Why aren't you acting? Why didn't you do something differently? Why? Because they've heard a different side. They've been sitting with these individuals without you, not knowing, not even knowing a story, but already are convinced. And people that can be easily convinced, just convinced and believe that this is who you are and what you are, they're not loyal. And you can't force them. But when these things come up and you see it, take it at face value. So I hope this makes sense. Does it? Let me know in the comments, guys. Do you think there's a difference between loyalty and faithfulness? And do you understand what I'm saying? All right, peace.